These are the Chicago Marathon course tips that I wish I'd known in advance to have the best day possible. As we all know, the key to any successful marathon run is preparation, and that's exactly what we're here to help you with today. Welcome to our guide on tips to run your best Chicago marathon. The key to any successful marathon run is preparation, and that's exactly what we're here to help you with today. Running a marathon is no small feat, and the Chicago Marathon, one of the six world major marathons, is no exception. With its flat course and an elevation gain of 243 feet, it poses a unique set of challenges. But worry not, we've got you covered. In this video, we will provide you with valuable tips, strategies, and insights that will help you have the best possible marathon experience. Whether you're a seasoned marathoner or a first-timer, these tips will help you navigate the course and the unpredictable Chicago weather, ensuring you're well-prepared and confident on race day. So buckle up as we dive into our comprehensive guide to running your best Chicago marathon. The day of the race is just as important as the training leading up to it. Let's talk about planning for the race morning. It's crucial to arrive at the starting area at least 90 minutes early. This might seem a bit excessive, but it gives you ample time to settle in, find your corral, and most importantly, conserve energy by sitting down. Now, let's talk about hydration. You might want to bring your hydration pack, but be aware, there are restrictions. You'll need to pour out any liquids before entering the starting area. It might seem inconvenient, but it's a necessary step for everyone's safety. And here's a little pro tip, always have tissues handy. Even if you think you won't need them, it's better to be prepared. They can be a lifesaver when you're trying to find the shortest bathroom line near your corral. Remember, a well-planned race morning sets the tone for the rest of the marathon. The first few miles can set the pace for the rest of your run. Let's discuss the course strategy for miles one to three. As you embark on this marathon journey, it's important to be aware of a few technical hiccups that might occur in the initial miles. For instance, the towering skyscrapers and long bridges of the Windy City can play havoc with your GPS connectivity. Such disruptions might cause your pace readings to swing wildly from 12-minute miles to 5-minute miles, making it difficult to gauge your actual speed. But fear not, there's a simple solution to this problem. Instead of relying solely on your GPS, listen to your body. It's all too easy to get swept up in the excitement and adrenaline of the race start. But remember, a marathon is a test of endurance, not speed. So even if you're feeling great, try to hold yourself back a bit. While it's important to trust your instincts and how you feel, it's also beneficial to have a tangible measure of your pace. That's where the mile markers come in. As you pass each one, manually hit the lap button on your watch. This will give you an accurate representation of your running speed, unaffected by GPS glitches. It's important to note that these GPS disruptions start to ease after mile three. However, they may reoccur as you enter the downtown area again later in the race. So keep this in mind and be prepared to adjust your strategy accordingly. Remember to hold back early on and maintain a steady pace. This strategy will help you conserve energy for the later stages of the marathon. Mother nature can be unpredictable, especially during the Chicago marathon. Let's discuss how to prepare for varying weather conditions. The Windy City is known for its capricious climate, and the day of the marathon is no exception. One year, you might be dealing with cold and windy conditions, and the next, you could be facing a hot and humid race day. If you're met with a hot and humid day, remember to adjust your race plans accordingly. It's not about sticking rigidly to your original strategy, but about adapting to the circumstances to ensure your success and safety. Hydrate properly, take advantage of water stations throughout the course, and don't push yourself beyond your limits in the name of a personal record. On the other hand, if you're faced with colder temperatures, remember to layer up. Opt for moisture wicking fabrics to keep you dry and comfortable, and don't forget a hat or headband to protect your ears from the chill. But be prepared to shed some layers as your body warms up during the race. Regardless of the weather, remember the importance of sun protection. Wear a hat or visor and don't forget the sunscreen, even on overcast days. Also, keep an eye on the forecast leading up to the race day, but don't let it dictate your mood. Remember, you've trained hard for this and you're ready to tackle whatever the day brings. Weather can be a game changer. Be prepared to adjust your strategy based on the conditions on race day. Now let's hear some advice from the pros. These tips can provide additional insights for running your best Chicago marathon. First off, remember the importance of pacing. Resist the urge to start off too fast. 
The adrenaline and excitement can make you feel invincible in the beginning, but remember, the marathon is a test of endurance, not speed. Next, focus on your form. Even on a flat course like Chicago's, maintaining good running form is critical. Keep your posture upright, your core engaged, and your strides consistent. This will help you stay efficient and avoid injuries. Nutrition is another key aspect. Don't try anything new on race day. Stick to what you know works for your body, and don't forget to hydrate even if the weather is cool. Remember to use the blue line on the course. This is the shortest route or the racing line, and sticking close to it can help you avoid running extra distance. Lastly, embrace the unpredictable. Weather, crowd support, even how your body feels on the day, can vary. Stay adaptable, adjust your plans as needed, and most importantly, enjoy the race. It's not just about the finish line, but also the journey there. These pro tips coupled with your hard work and preparation can make your Chicago Marathon experience unforgettable. We've covered a lot of ground today, so let's recap. We've discussed the importance of planning for race morning, ensuring that everything from your hydration to your arrival time is well thought out. We've also delved into the intricacies of the Chicago Marathon course, especially in the unpredictable first three miles. Remember, your GPS might not be reliable due to the tall buildings and long bridges, so trust your instincts and keep a steady pace. We've also explored the unpredictable nature of Chicago's weather and how it can impact your marathon experience. It might be hot and humid, or it could be cool and breezy, so make sure to adjust your race plans accordingly. Lastly, we've shared some valuable tips from professional marathoners. They've been through it all, and their insights can be a game changer in your marathon journey. Remember, preparation is key. We hope these tips will help you run your best Chicago Marathon. Let us know which tip you'll be working on first. Until next time, happy running!